Today, Holly's at the park enjoying a picnic with friends. When it's time to clean up, Holly helps everyone recycle properly. Take this yogurt cup, for example. The cup is made from polystyrene, a styrenic material. You'll find styrenics in many products you use every day, spanning across multiple industries, automotive, electronics, household, construction, healthcare, packaging, toys, sports, and more. Styrenic materials are incredibly versatile in their use for many different applications. They also offer the versatility of being recyclable many ways, both mechanical as well as advanced recycling technologies, such as dissolution, depolymerization, pyrolysis, and gasification. As Polly drops the cup in the recycling bin, he wonders, just how do styrenic materials get recycled anyway? How do these materials get unmade, then made into something new again? Let's look at pyrolysis, a safe and efficient advanced recycling technology that can use mixed plastic waste as feedstock. Pyrolysis is a thermal cracking process that takes used polymer materials, including styrenics, and converts them to an oil, which is further purified by removing contaminants. At high temperatures, the long chain polymer molecules break into smaller molecules. This is called cracking of the polymer chains. The smaller molecules are of various lengths, and most of them are liquid at ambient temperature, resulting in the pyrolysis oil. This pyrolysis oil is, in turn, converted into a steam cracker to create monomers, the basis for new polymer production, including styrenics. These new base products can be developed and used across multiple polymer segments. This creates our new feedstock and polymer-to-polymer -polymer recycling. The pyrolysis process allows the final products to have exactly the same properties as conventional fossil-based materials, including meeting food grade quality. Bonus, unlike in mechanical recycling, the post-consumer plastic waste doesn't have to be perfectly clean to be recycled. Compared to other methods, pyrolysis is much more flexible in terms of the waste that can be recycled and the end products that can be manufactured using the recycled material. Unfortunately, people confuse pyrolysis and incineration. Pyrolysis is not incineration. Pyrolysis heats the post-consumer waste in complete absence of oxygen. This process is close to self-sustaining as the combustion of the byproducts provides the energy needed to drive the reaction. Pyrolysis can increase plastic recycling rates compared to incineration. Pyrolysis is less polluting and eliminates toxicity concerns by not emitting toxins into the air. What's more, pyrolysis yields char, pyrolysis oil, and syngas that are valuable raw materials. That yogurt cup that Polly recycled at the park can now be remade into not only another yogurt cup, but also a toy, a bicycle helmet, parts for a car or a phone. So many possibilities. Learn more about Ineos Styrolution Eco Materials, our family of sustainable styrenics materials made from recycled post-consumer plastic waste and materials based on renewable feedstock.